morning guys welcome to the channel today we're going to be working on our 2019 2019 uh, dodge ram truck unfortunately um last thursday somebody decided to break the side window and steal about 200 uh, or 300 dollars worth of uh, tools that i had inside the truck so uh, i was figuring maybe today would be an, uh, a would be pretty interesting if we could just uh, go ahead and uh, replace this um uh, the insurance was going to require me to pay a 500 dollar deductible for them to replace this window and I thought, man, uh, uh, $500 on a $100 uh, uh, fix just wasn't worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this glass. So please follow me as we go, as we replace this glass for our side window. All right, first things first is that uh, we see here that we have, uh, we have five of these screws, and it's the T15 on this uh, particular design of the Dodge Ram truck. First thing is we need to run the uh, vacuum in here and suck it up, because I know there's a screw somewhere in here that we need to remove as well. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the shop vac and we're gonna start vacuuming uh, these, uh, these side pockets. All right, if your shop vac don't work, then the second step is uh, drag your wife's uh, vacuum outside while she's yelling at you and uh, telling you to clean it up after you're done with it. And this way it'll be uh, better to get some of this uh, kind of tighter spots. Unfortunately, the shop vac was just too big and bulky and was unable to reach these uh, tight spots. So let's get that going. Guys, as you're cleaning up, it's a good idea to run a, like a screwdriver or something along the edges in here and clean all the glee, uh, the broken glass. Make sure everything's out of there because you just don't want this glass laying around and be rattling and, and making a bunch of noise. So uh, just take a screwdriver and clean this area real, real nice on both sides, along the, along the sides here and also along the, the back side. And just remove all that glass out, keep it clean. That's it, boys. So pretty much this is the new glass. Uh, surprisingly, I got this uh, on eBay. So um, let's uh, pull this uh, glass out and let's see um, what are the conditions of it. All right, as you can see, the glass is uh, well packaged, very well packaged right here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, open it up. But just to go, goes to show you, this is uh, from uh, National Auto Glass uh, Direct. Um, not a sponsor. But as you can see, uh, I paid uh, $105. That's uh, including tax. But $98 for this uh, glass, where um, the insurance was going to charge me $500 deductible just for them to repair this glass. So it's it's an easy fix, and it's something you can do yourself. All right, well, here we go. We're going to wrap, wrap this thing. Be careful so you don't scratch your glass with the tip of your knife. Alright, I believe uh, Dodge has made this a whole lot easier now. Uh, we come over here and we take out these uh, 10 millimeter screws. And there's about, uh, I don't know, six or seven of them around the door. So let's uh, get started and start taking these screws out so we can That is it. All right. Now we should just lift up this panel. And it should just come out. Uh, I guess they got a cool a sealant, some kind of a sealant uh, on here. There's nowhere to grab, really. But look at all that glass. Oh, there's one more screw right there hidden. Tucked away behind the lock. Locking cable. All right. So far, guys, I've, uh, I've been able to manage to re release this and uh, the only thing I found out was uh, it's best if you uh, lower your window so the, uh, oh what do you call that little mechanism there, 
uh, you need it to go down. So once it's down, you're able to uh, pull it out. But for right now, I uh, notice here, sorry for my cold, man. I've been in other weather lately. But uh, I need to remove these things and uh, they have a very specific type of uh, screw head. But what I found out that if I use this, uh, I believe it's a T25 star, T25 star, and I just fit it in there. And uh, takes these screws out real quick and real easy. So, got this out of the way. All right, now let's see if uh, the door should come out easily now. And I believe, fortunately I can't do this one handed, so uh, bear with me guys. But I just wanted to show you guys that uh, these cables, these locking cable to this uh, locking mechanism, it's easy just to uh, push this little clip back like so. There it is, push the clip back like so and disassemble it. And there you go, you got the whole free uh, piece uh, free at you. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, vacuum that and clean up all that glass down at the bottom of the door. All right, guys, I've uh, pretty much vacuumed everything. It's very important that you guys remove all the all the glass and everything. I've, I've tried my best. It's, there's some real tight spots right there in that corner there. But I try my best to vacuum this up and everything because you really don't want any uh, leftover glass laying around because it's just going to rattle and make that annoying sound. And I, I see some right there. See that, that little piece of glass there? And that... that, uh, that uh, Residual glass, man, if you just leave it behind, it's gonna rattle and it's gonna, uh, I don't know about you, but it's gonna annoy, it's gonna annoy the heck out of me. But uh, it's pretty much clear. Also, it's very important, guys, that when it's, uh, you do vacuum up your, uh, the doors, if you look there, there's a little drain, drain hole. Make sure there's no debris there uh, clogging up that drain hole. That way, whatever moisture, whatever water comes down through the uh, glass, it would wash out through that drain hole there. And if you have any debris, it would uh, interrupt the flow of water and obviously that would start to rust and uh, and damage your uh, your vehicle. So as you can see, I pretty much uh, vacuumed it up. I'm just gonna touch it up a little bit more, get uh, get some of those small pieces of glass out of the way. And we're gonna go ahead and install the uh, the rest of the glass. First thing you gotta, you gotta see about your glass is make sure that uh, you find out which one's the outside and which one's the inside. If you don't know, uh, just look at the uh, on, a, on the edge of the glass, there should be some, there should be some uh, writing on it, and uh, that will identify that this is the uh, outside. If you can read it, that, that means this is the outside. So you go ahead, <clears throat> take your little clips that I found, and you put it on there. This little clip. It's gonna go on here. Awesome. Like that. Now you're gonna take your window and you're gonna put it inside the slot. So, slowly. You're gonna slide your glass inside the grooves sliding grooves there. Make sure it goes in here. And there, you got a nice, nice fit. So now that you, so now that I have uh, the assistance of my beautiful wife, she's gonna hold the glass for me in a while, put some tape. Well, basically, now that you got your glass in place, go ahead and take your panel, and you're gonna flip it around like, a, like I'm doing here. You're gonna put this back in place. You're gonna have to connect your locking mechanisms up. Put everything back in place the way it was. 
And you're ever so gently gonna try to slip this back in place. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lock, uh, put the uh, locking mechanism back in place. Now we're going to go ahead and reapply the, uh, the screws for the whole framing system. Okay, now we're going to do is uh, go ahead and install the the wiring, the wiring harness back in place, all nice and neat. Everything back in its, in its place. All right. Now for the. Uh, for the window to, to, to work, we need to plug in, we have to attach the wiring, the harness here to this uh, plug. All right, now remember, we still haven't attached the uh, regulator up to the uh, window yet, and it's just sitting there on tape. So what should happen is that as you, you can do two things. Either you can roll up the regulator up to the window or release the window and it should fall right into place and it should connect into the regulator. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's re, uh, re release the, the tape and slide the glass down into the regulator and see if it clips on. Well, what happened was that I got this uh, this uh, plastic clip here uh, backwards. So I flipped it around on this side. Now I need to work on the other side and flip that one around. And All right, there we go. Now let's let the window fall slowly. It should fall right on top of the... There you go, here it clicked. It's in there. All right, now with the key and ignition, we should go ahead and test it out. And there it is. It's in place. Good as new, boys. Now we'll just go ahead and uh, bolt everything up and put the cover back on, and we're done. All right, guys, everything is back in place. Windows working nice. An easy fix. All right, if you guys like those kind of videos, please uh, uh, like and subscribe, send to, to your friends. And uh, this is how you uh, replace a uh, side window to a Dodge uh, 2019 Dodge Ram. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.